Today I'm going to teach you three of the easiest ways to transition to any song, BPM, and genre. This is how we do The best thing about these transitions is that no beat matching skills are required. All you need is good timing. So the three transitions we're going to do are the echo transition, vinyl break transition, and backspin transition. And these transitions can be done on any DJ software and DJ equipment like Recordbox DJ or Serato. Now the effectivity of these transitions are all dependent on how recognizable the next song is and how you drop it in. So keep that in mind. And with that said, let's start mixing. So let's first do the echo transition. For this transition, it's recommended to first set your echo settings to the following. One half on the beat parameter echo section, and about 12 o'clock on the level slash depth knob. But I usually vary from 10 to 12 o'clock depending on how impactful I want that echo to be. So this transition works like this. First, set your echo effect to affect the currently playing song. So in our case, that'll be deck number one. And queue up your second song on deck two and make sure it's queued up right where you want it to begin. Second, play your current song and wait for a section you would want to transition from. This could be the end of a chorus, phrase, or bar. It really depends on you. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Third, once you near your transition point, activate your echo, then quickly bring down the volume fader of the currently playing song and let that echo linger out for a couple of beats. Fourth, play your next song and beat with the echo out effect lingering and you could either scratch it in, drum it in, or simply just press play. And now let's do our vinyl break transition. So this transition requires a bit of preparation in your DJ settings menu. So let's set things up. On Recordbox DJ, click settings, then click controller, then scroll down and locate vinyl speed adjust, touch slash break. Then bring the knobs of deck 1, 3, and 2, 4 to around the 4 o'clock position. Now this is all dependent on how slow you want your track to stop. On Serato DJ, click Settings, then under Breaking, bring the stop time knob to around the 11 o'clock position. So now stopping your track will sound like this. Now this transition works like this. First, with your first song loaded on deck number 1, play it. Then make sure your second song on deck number 2 is queued up and ready to go. Second, wait for a section in the first song you would want to transition from. Ideally, this would be towards the last four beats of a section, such as the chorus. Third, once you reach that transition point, press the play slash pause knob on the currently playing song's deck. Then, as the track slows down, at the last moment it stops, trigger and play your next song. And for more effect, either scratch it in or drum it in. Now before we go to our next transition, let me just let you know that these two transitions 
are already pretty good and will definitely elevate your DJ skills to the next level. But if you want to jumpstart your DJ career even further, you should definitely check out Brian Jackson's online class on how to produce music. There, he gives you an easy step-to-step -step guide on how to make your own beats and songs. So if you have zero experience in making your own tracks, this class is perfect for you. So if you want to check out that music production masterclass, which I highly recommend because I've taken it myself, then you can click the link in this video description down below and that will give you a 2 month free trial on Skillshare. And Skillshare is an online learning community with over 20,000 classes in graphic design, music production, songwriting, and more, which are all fueled by passionate creatives like myself. So you're pretty much set for life if you want to learn anything new, efficiently, effectively, and economically. Because an annual subscription on Skillshare just costs us $10 a month. So what are you waiting for? Start 2020 right and move your creative journey forward now with Skillshare today. And finally, let's do our backspin transition. Now this transition is pretty easy to do but does not sound the best when implemented alone. So if you plan to do this type of transition, I highly recommend implementing an echo effect on it as well. But first, let me show you how this transition is done without an echo effect. First, with your first song loaded up on deck 1, play it. Then with your second song on deck number 2, make sure it's all ready and queued up. Second, wait for your transition point on deck 1. And once you reach it, do a backspin. Then quickly bring down deck 1's volume fader and play the next song. Now to make this transition sound cleaner, let's use an echo effect. So here's how it works. As your first song approaches the transition point, activate an echo effect on it. And once the song reaches that transition point, simply do your backspin and bring down deck 1's volume fader. Then as the echo lingers, play the next song. And you've made it to the end of the video, but before you go, let me know in the comment section down below which transition was your favorite and why. And with that said, I'll see you all in the next one.